The Agenda 2063 is a shared framework for inclusive growth and sustainable development for Africa to be realized in the course of 50 years. The Agenda is a continuation of the Pan-Africa vision for unity, self-determination, freedom, progress and collective prosperity and seeks to accelerate the implementation of past and existing continental initiatives for growth and sustainable development. The elaboration of a forward-looking continental framework was agreed upon in 2013 by the African leaders gathered during the commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the Organization of Africa Unity. During this ceremony, the heads of states and government emphasized a guiding vision to build an integrated, prosperous and peaceful Africa, driven and managed by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the international arena. The African Union Commission, with the support of other African institutions, was put in charge of building the agenda that was adopted in 2015 as the basis for Africa's long-term socio-economic and integrative transformation following extensive consultation with all formations of African society. As a people-driven process, the Agenda 2063 outlines the Africa we want through seven aspirations and tries to translate them into objectives and actions. In order to allow us to know the continent and African people's expectation for the next 50 years a bit better, let's humbly dig into each of them as they are described within the Agenda itself. So that after this lecture you might be able to understand and discuss the importance for Africa to embrace the Agenda 2063, referring to the seven aspirations outlined within the document. The first aspiration for Africa is to be a prosperous continent, where development is driven by its own means and resources. Poverty shall be eradicated within the next generation. A shared prosperity is obtained thanks to a deep socio-economic transformation achieved through a new culture for manufacturing, but also science and technology-driven innovation. The Africa people deserve high quality of life, high standard of living, health and well-being. The Africa people will be well-educated and equipped with knowledge and instruments coming from science, technology and innovation, thus supporting the paradigm change toward environmentally sustainable and climate-resilient economies and communities. Within the second aspiration, Africa shall be integrated, united, peaceful, sovereign, independent, confident and self-reliant. Africa aims at having world-class and integrated infrastructure across the continent. Africa wishes to develop dynamic and mutually beneficial links with the diaspora, work towards the reduction of continental borders and strengthening of cross-border resources through an intense dialogue. The third aspiration is for a further reinforcement of democratic values and practices, universal principles of human rights, gender equality, justice and the rule of law in the world continent. By 2063, Africa aims at having institutions for good local governance and transformative leadership. The end of corruption and impunity is to be also attained. The fourth aspiration concerns peace. Africa shall have an ever-growing culture of human rights, democracy, gender equality, inclusion and peace for all citizens. A system to promote and defend the continent's collective security and interest is to be put in place so that all Africans can be free from armed conflict, terrorism, extremism, intolerance and gender-based violence. The fifth aspiration is cultural identity. With the vision of Africa cultural renaissance in mind, Pan-Africa ideals shall be fully embedded in all African school curricula. Pan-Africa cultural assets such as heritage, folklore, languages, film, music, theatre, literature, festivals, religion and spirituality will be enhanced. 
African languages will be the basis for administration and integration. The recovery of the stolen culture, heritage and artefacts is also envisaged. The sixth aspiration is people-driven development. By 2063, Africa shall be an inclusive continent where no child, woman or man is left behind or excluded because of gender, political affiliation, religion, ethnic affiliation, locality, age. All citizens of Africa shall be actively involved in decision-making in all aspects of development, including social, economical, political and environmental issues. Full gender equality is achieved and women and youth are fully engaged and empowered to rightfully participate in all societal aspects. The last aspiration sees Africa as a major social, political and economic force in the world and an active and equal partner in global affairs and multilateral institutions and a driver for a sustainable and just world. Africa shall develop its full potential to play a bigger role in the world affairs and take full responsibility for financing its own development. The African Union vision and the seven aspirations we have just looked at together represent the pillar of the prospect arising from extensive consultation from diverse African stakeholders. The vision of the African Union is for Africa to become an integrated, prosperous and peaceful continent driven by its own citizen and representing a dynamic force in the international arena. These are the expectations of Africa and this is, in our opinion, what is well deserved for the continent as a world, for each African citizen as a single individual and for the society at large. Thank you.